Award, episode 1822, SummerSlam Review. It just went off the air like five minutes ago, and man, god damn it, the main event had me saying, what the hell is going on? And a lot of people on Twitter predicted this for weeks, and for some reason, I just ain't buy into it. Now I'm like, god damn, how do I see it coming? I do see things coming from the W, but I did not see it coming. That's a shame on my part. But before I get to that later on, let's talk about the first match of the night. Ricochet versus Logan Paul. Now, this match right here was really good, man. Logan Paul, I'm going to say it right now, he's a top 10 professional wrestler. And a lot of talents in the business, they should be very ashamed of themselves. A guy like this who under 10 matches is this good. He just gets it. He gets the heat. He could go in the ring. Ricochet, this is the best match he had. On that main roster with Logan Paul. Logan Paul uh, wins by getting uh, some brass knuckles handed to him for the 1 2 3 right decision because Logan Paul cannot continue to lose matches. He go against the bigger talents. So, of course, you go against a guy like Rickshaw, who is a Mick Carter, you got to put over Logan Paul. And I cannot wait to see Logan Paul back on WTV because the guy just don't miss on the PLE shows. What was the next match? Oh, Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. Now, look. This wasn't a bad match at all. I just wasn't invested because, personally, I felt this match needed a gimmick. I, like a last man standing. Falls count anywhere. Just something to spice it up. But the crowd was into it because they love Cody Rhodes and it's Brock Lesnar. So, yes, good match. But I just wish I was a lot more invested in the match. And after the match... Brock Lesnar shook Cody Rhodes' hand. I was waiting for F5, but no. So that lets you know that Brock respects Cody Rhodes. And that wasn't Brock in character. That's just Brock Lesnar being a professional. Like, yeah, you are it, man. And it was good to work with you in this trilogy right here. So big up to Brock Lesnar, man, Cody Rhodes. And we'll see what's next with Cody Rhodes. I mean, Seth Rollins, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but, you know, I, I basically I spoiled it, but we all knew what was going to happen anyway with that match. <laughs> the Battle Royale, you know, look. I understand Slim Jim, you know, biggest endorsement ever, so you had to do it, so fuck it. <laughs> uh, didn't care for the match at all, bathroom break match, but at least L.A. Knight, yeah, won this Battle Royale right here, so that was the best thing about it. Let's move on. Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. And this MMA rules match, this match suck ass. Oh, man. I decided to mute it and I just um, put on Collision. Well, actually, I didn't put on. I already had Collision on the other TVs. I decided to watch Collision and SummerSlam the same night. So, I just muted that match and I just watched Ricky Stars versus CM Punk. But on my timeline, you know, a lot of people said it suck. And from the parts I've seen, it suck. The crowd chain and boring. Ronda Rousey is going. It's a goddamn shame because Ronda Rousey is one of the biggest stars in the world of MMA. Come over W. A lot of momentum. Then she just all of a sudden just felt like another person. Goddamn shame. What a shame the way Ronda Rousey leaves the W. And more than likely, she's probably never going to return. Overall, it's a complete letdown, man. They could have got a lot more out of Ronda Rousey. But they just didn't book her right. If she was with Paul Hammond, I think that would have been an excellent choice. But they never went that route. IC Championship, man. Drew McIntyre versus Gonda. Good match, as expected. Gunther is him, future main event player. I'm not sure what's the future for Drew McIntyre. I know his contract up next year. We're going to find out will he be all elite. Doubt he could with Impact or he would sign with WWE. If the same would happen to Drew McIntyre during COVID, he never really had a true moment because there was nobody at the goddamn show because COVID fucked everything up. And we had to watch WrestleMania in a goddamn what studio, gym, whatever. Oh, sucks Drew McIntyre, man. He never got the momentum back. Seth freaking Rollins versus Finn Balor. This was the match of the night. Really enjoyed this world title match right here. These guys have good chemistry. A lot of history going in with this match right here. Uh, when Damian Priest came out, uh, Rhea Ripley, Dominic Mysterio, I was thinking, like, oh, damn, okay, there's a possibility of him losing his championship. No. Um, Rollins kicked out the, um, the crew de gras. 
I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was it right there. Then, uh, you know, of course, distractions kept going on. He gave him the curse stuff on the Money in the Bank briefcase. Still, your world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Now, it looks like something going to happen with Damian Priest and Finn Balor. We will see. And when will Damian Priest cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase? We'll just find out when we find out. That's all I can say. But like I said, man, best match of the night to me. And to y'all, what was the best match of the night? Triple threat match. Charlotte Flair versus Bianca Belair versus the champion Oscar. It was a shame these three ladies really had to follow that match right there because it was a damn good match. But the crowd, you know, it took the time to finally get involved as the match got better. It was a solid match. And Bianca Belair won the title back. And I was like, whoa, I didn't expect her to win the title back. Then I heard EO Sky music hit. And speaking of Sky, she got one of the best theme songs in WWE. I'm glad they kept that and did not, you know, get a brand new song for her. And she cast in her money in the band briefcase. And all this time, I was thinking that Bailey was on a car, sir, and she would not win. But I was wrong. I'm glad to be wrong. EO deserves to be the champion. Hope they can do something with it. The Kota Kai, uh, uh, appear. I'm not sure if she's still healthy to compete in the ring, but we'll see. And I'm like I said, I'm happy for EO Sky. Now, the main event Tribal Combat the champion Roman Reigns versus Jay Uz. We know the bloodline storyline, it's an excellent storyline. The match, the match was good, but I expected a lot more. I wish it was a lot more fast paced because it had no rules. So, why was so slow paced to begin with? It should have just started really hot. Like, we cannot stand until I just go at it. Oh, let's just talk about that. Let's talk about the story of this match right here. Jimmy Uso turned on Jay Uso. For Roman Reigns to retain the title, crowd was shocked. Now, look, I love the Bloodline storyline, but how many twists and turns you need to tell a story? I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan, and I just tweeted on Twitter this storyline getting dragged out more than a boot or, or saga, whatever you want to call it. Jay Uso and Jimmy, now look. If you look at the story of this bloodline, I can buy into Jimmy turning on Jay if J if Jimmy never left. Now, say like, okay, Jay decided to bounce. Jimmy like, damn, I don't know who I'm going to side with. Then tonight he decided I'm choosing Roman. That makes the hill turn so much better. But the thing is... Jimmy the one that decided to leave, not Jay. Jay the Jay finally decided to go with his brother and turn on Reigns. They defeat him at the uh the show a couple months ago at Money in the Bank. So how do you explain why Jimmy turns on Jay? Because Jimmy the one decided to bounce. So if I'm deciding to do what you wanted to do. Why will you want to turn on me? They really got to explain this very well. Can they just go with, well, yeah, you in the main event and you get more love. But we've seen the, the jealous rival sibling. It's been done. It's nothing new. Now it's like with the bloodline storyline, what can we do to shock people? Now it's just about shock factor. So if they just did it that way, where Jimmy was still with the bloodline, but he never turned on Jay. So it's just been a mystery. Who he going to decide to go with? That would have been more effective tonight with him turning on his brother Jay. Now, mm, is, it, is it really captivating? I mean, people, of course, next week SmackDown, their bloodlines, they're going to do a big number next week on SmackDown, which we know. The people going to be shocked like, hey, why it happened? Of course, we're going we to want to know the story and why he did it. But just as someone like me, you know, who different from other fans? You know, we all those fans are different. You know, some, you know, talk about shit like, "Hey, this is what I would do," and others just don't care. They just watch the watch the product. But I'm not that fan. You know, I'm more of a fuck it. Let's just say smart, smart. I just say it. I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna say that. But I just wish that they just found another way to make the Jimmy Uso Hill turn a lot better. I, I just don't buy what they did. Like, they really need to explain it so well for me. Like, okay, I get that. But I just can't see me accepting it. Because, like I said, if he just stayed with Roman and Solo, then did it tonight, I'd be all for it. I'm like, God damn, wow, he turned on him. But when 
Jimmy left first, it just made me say, I don't like that, man. But I'm going to watch SmackDown next week and just see what happens with this bloodline story. Like I said, excellent storyline, but man, probably has some flaws right now. Overall, SummerSlam, um, I like the show. I wouldn't say the best SummerSlam in years. But overall, I enjoyed it. So give me your thoughts on SummerSlam. What y'all thought about the J Jimmy Uso turning on J Uso Hill turn? What y'all expect out this storyline between the bloodline? Because it's not ending anytime soon. Uh, J Uso and Jimmy won't feature up down line. But I'm not sure when they're going to do it. WrestleMania don't make a lot of sense, but I'm not sure what they really drag out that long. So give me your thoughts. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.